Okay, I wanted to show a quick demo when we're talking about center of mass. I start off before I show them how to find the center of mass of a, a non-uniform distribution of particles. Uh, just why knowing the center of mass can be important. And so we know that when we study the motion of objects, we're really looking at the uh, translation of the center of mass of the object. And so that's one reason it's important the object uh, the part of the object that uh, is the center of mass moves as if all the forces were concentrated there and all the mass was concentrated there. Another reason is you want uh, an object to be stable, you need its center of mass to be over a base of support. And also the lower the center of mass, the more stable an object is. If you have the mass center of mass low and you tip it over, there's a restoring torque to bring it back. So we've talked about all these ideas and this demonstration sort of uh, puts them all together and so I have this this board on a hinge it's a really junky thing I just made with some scrap wood and I clamp it to the table and we can see that this part if I release it swings down so there's a torque on it from its weight causing it to rotate and so I say, I don't want that to happen. I want to be able to release it and have it stay there. And so I'm going to add this sledgehammer and that will clearly solve the problem. And they look very skeptical. It seems like adding a sledgehammer to this side is going to make things worse. Well, it depends on how you add it. And I have a loop of string conveniently placed there. And so now it's, well, it bends a little bit, but it pretty much doesn't swing all the way down. And so I know now the center of mass of the board sledgehammer combination here has to be uh, to the right of the hinge over a base of supports. And I also know that when I tip it, the center of mass rises because then it is a torque that restores it back where it was. So this is the basis of a lot of magician's tricks and other center of mass tricks, but this is a good large size one you can show them. Uh, quickly in class. If you have them analyze the uh, forces and torques on just this board, it gets pretty complicated, but you can see sort of roughly what's going on is the handle is pushing up on the board here. So there is a, a torque trying to rotate it the other way. That's the hard thing to see. So pretty easy to make this. Uh, I'm sure you'll make a better looking one than I have, but this one has served me well uh, since I made it for a student teaching long, long time ago.